Christ said when he said, I'm going away for a prayer place for you. If I go away, I'll come again. He might come today, folks. Right. He may come tonight. We know not when he's coming, but we know he's coming, do we not? Yeah. And I'm thankful this morning that where the blood has been applied, when he comes, we'll be ready to meet him. Yeah. And get to go home and be with him. I'm through. Go right ahead, Brother Bowman. <clears throat> Thank you, brother. I just want to notice one verse, I think, of what the brother said. I'm not going to keep you. Let me turn back to it real quick like. When I say quick like, I mean quick like. Right there I am. Four and five. He, in uh, Psalm 24, he that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, which is deceitfulness, uh, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall, notice the words, shall receive the blessings from the Lord. Amen. And righteousness from the God of his salvation. And as the brother spoke uh, about, only one God provides salvation. That is the true God, the only God. Amen. With that said, I did say uh, uh, I thank uh, thank God for the message and uh, the message bearers. <coughs> Uh, did uh, if anybody has a prayer request at this time would be a good time to let me know about it because we're going to uh, uh, as promised dismiss in the, with an altar of prayer brother Robert pray for me I just came back from the doctors uh, on what, Tuesday and they uh, decided they're going to operate on my arm and uh, I gotta get more tests on my Amen. Amen. Just pray for me. Yes, sir. And your family. And the family. Guy? Just pray for our veteran. No, always. We've got that thing coming off with the, the warmer clothing, socks and clothes and stuff like that. Just drop them off here, right? <coughs> okay with you, Pastor? Just, oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple boxes back here, folks. They're, they're, the, they're the thicker socks that Walmart sells. And that's what we're looking for, guys. And, you know, just drop them off here. Thank you very much. Yeah, warm clothing for the winter time coming up for the ones who have no place to go. Uh, uh, guy, uh, I want you, uh, if you would, uh, if you don't, well, you got my number. Next yeah. time you see uh, Sandy, uh, uh, have her call me, would you? Okay, sure thing. Thank you. Because yeah. uh, I don't think I can get down there and actually catch her. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? <coughs> my sister-in-law in Ohio. in the nursing home for some time. Uh, she got pneumonia a couple of days ago and she's not responding right uh, now to anybody or any treatment. Um, like prayers for that family. Amen. Amen. Let's uh, remember each and every household and individual represented right here this morning. Uh, let's pray for the church without ceasing as a whole. Not this church or that church, but the church that uh, God is coming back to receive unto himself. And that is the ones who have been uh, written in the Lamb's Book of Life by the finger of God, where the blood of Jesus has been applied. Uh, let's remember all of our loved ones who do not know the Lord. Amen. Uh, and let's remember the ones who are indeed playing church, acting. Uh, a lot of actors, as our brother Kyle said, a lot of actors uh, today. But God, I'm thankful that God knows who are his. Amen. And he knows those who say they are but are not. Mm -hmm. We're going to worship God. We will do it in spirit and in truth, or we will not do it at all. Um, Grace? Yes. I forgot. Ethan. He's going to a special school, but they're trying to teach him like they would a regular fourth grader. My daughter Sharon is pulling her hair out because mm. it's stuck. Ethan's not getting. Right. Ethan's a very smart child, but there's things he just can't put together. Yeah, it's too fast.
fast for so them. I got you. So we need prayer that they'll find the right teacher or the right school. Amen. Amen. Uh, with that said, let's also remember the children that are in school. Go ahead, brother. Cleo. Uh, I'd like to continue. As long as the Lord gives me breath, I'm going to pray for my son and all the same situation. The Lord knows all about it. Um, pray for me. I'm going through, like like anyone, going over, especially when you're over 70 years old, the old body starts breaking down. I just pray the Lord will give me the strength of Job to get through all these trials and tribulations and yeah, confirm me. Because I look at what Brother, Brother Job went through, I haven't went anything close to what Brother Job went through. And I pray I just have the faith to continue on and keep the faith. And, Amen. And, and, you know, keep God in my life because I need. I can't even walk without God holding my hand. Amen. So blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of our Father, who art in heaven, for thou art most holy. Because I need it in my life. I don't know about you, but I need to guide me, help me, strengthen me. Because, you know, we're going to go through some trials, tribulations, temptations. We're going to have physical, mental, and spiritual weaknesses. And I pray the Lord will give me the strength to get through it. And as long as I keep the faith, I know he will. Because he's a loving, caring, and forgiving God. And there's no... And I have a lot of unspoken prayer requests this morning. Thank you. Amen. Anyone else? I like that prayer for my granddaughter. I've been asking prayers for her for so long. She's going to have a surgery on her leg. And hopefully she'll be able to walk. Amen. Amen. All those with unspoken? Anyone who wants to uh, join in for the altar of prayer, feel free. <coughs> you pray as always, uh, as we always say, I mean. As God lays upon your heart and as you feel led. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come unto the th throne of grace, we're thankful for that opportunity, Heavenly Father. You have heard each and every prayer request and know each and every unspoken prayer request alike. And Father, into your hands, by your grace, in, in faith, believe in God, knowing that you said we're two or three are gathered in your name, there you are also in the midst. And Father, you, uh, you have told us, dear God, that Father, if we would ask anything in your name and faith, Father, it shall indeed be granted. Lord, I know beyond the shadow of a doubt that the prayers of the righteous people do indeed avail much, God, and I'm thankful for each and every one that will still take time to bow the knee and pray on the behalf of our people. And Father, or your people, Father, and to God, our loved ones that are around us, Lord, there are so many that know you not, God, and our heart's desire is to see them come into the kingdom before it's everlasting too late. Because, Lord, as the brother said, once the mercy door is closed, Father, unlike the past, it will never be open again. And God, our heart's desire is to bring us uh, see uh, to bring, and to help bring the ones that know you not into your kingdom before that coming of the Almighty God. And Father, while we're here in this old walkway of life, we ask you, God, to help each and every one of your people, Father, uh, to walk according to thy will and to use the grace that you have already given us, dear God, to get through this old walkway of life. And now, Father, for the ones who are in the nursing homes, hospitals, God, wherever they might be, Father, that are in divine, uh, 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 so much need, dear God, of your touch, Lord, into your hands we command them. Father, they need your divine touch, God, and without your divine touch, Lord, we know that many of them will indeed uh, 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 leave this old walkway of life. Now, Father, but uh, Lord, we're asking of you, God, uh, to look down from heaven and according to thy will and not the will of man, that you would raise and touch and raise for your glory. And Father, for each and every one that has uh, had that spoken request, God, into your hands now we commend those requests, asking, Father, knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt you see and know all the little baby that in the operation father that he's going to she it will be going through by your grace I pray that your mighty hand is upon it and that God you are the one that father uh, will do the seeing Lord in the uh, uh, guiding of the doctor's hands and as the brother uh, will have the same thing done father a 
uh, Lord, surgery upon his body. God, we ask of you uh, to give the doctors the wisdom, understanding, and the knowledge, and to guide their hands, Father, and to make sure their eyes uh, see each and everything that they need to see. And for the one, Father, away from us, I will stay in the home. Uh, Lord, I ask of you, God, to touch that body also and bring breath, uh, uh, Father, easily uh, to her dear God. And I pray that she begins to respond unto the nurses and the doctors, God, in which we give you thanks for. And now, Father, into your hands, if there's anybody here that knows you not, I pray that, God, they will go away, dear God, uh, Father, uh, continuing to uh, 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 think upon what they have heard this morning. And, Father, deal with them through and by your Holy Spirit. And, Lord, just bring them into your bosom, comfort them, and show them that they need you before it's everlasting too late. Lord, for the ones who are laying out of your house, Father, know all over the world, not just here. Lord, I continue to lift them up and pray for them as well. Lord, I pray that, God, your people will be shaken and woken up, that, God, we need to turn back unto you before it's everlasting too late. Keep us in thy care and in thy will, Father, now as we go our separate ways by your grace. Bring us all back to the next appointed time. And, Father, bless the upcoming services. Get glory, get honor, and get praise. We ask it and give you thanks for it all. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, your Son, amen. 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 <laughs>